So Bungie is changing how the Eververse economy is working, with right now you get stuff from Ingrams then trash which you don't like, and, ex and exotics usually reward you with 500 bright dust, with other stuff it's usually like 100 bright dust. The new changes will make it to where we can get bright dust from bounties in game, so Gambit, Crucible, Beta, Vanguard, and all that shit, you basically get bright dust from it. We don't know how much so far, but this sounds good. I'm more worried that they're gonna make it to like 10 or 20 bright dust per bounty. I think 50 would be fine. 100 to 100 to 150 bright dust would be fine for weeklies. My other gripe is that if they're making the ingrams how it works now, then how are we gonna earn them in game? Because the only way we can earn them in game now is to wait until te Tess sells the item that you're waiting for. And for some reason, the armor that she sells doesn't rotate classes anymore. So if she sells a Titan te chest piece, then that's it. For that week instead of you know selling chess piece for all classes she also sells stuff from the past seasons too this not being a new thing but it's more annoying now since we can't get new items from ingrams another change that's coming is that when you dismantle eververse items you get legendary shards and if you want to buy eververse items from the collections then you'll buy them with legendary shards or glimmer on one hand this is an awesome change but on the other hand, this may be a horrible mistake. What do I mean? Well, on one hand, it's awesome that we can buy the items with Legendary Shards or Glimmer since we can get that pretty much everywhere. But on the other hand, what's the price going to be? Like some of the items in collection can be, it's, it's, it's probably going to be expensive. Because as of right now, I think the most Legendary Shards I've ever held was like 500 or 800. And that's because I destroyed half of my vault when Forsaken came out. So if one exotic it ghost costs like 800 legendary shards, then fuck all of that noise. I'm not doing that shit. So in, in theory, if, a, if an exotic ghost does cost 800 shards, then it should dismantle for 500, which is how the difference is with Bright Dust now. My fear is that they will increase the cost to obtain the things in collections, but decrease the amount we get from dismantling, which is a fear that I believe they will do. And the last change that's coming is that armor from the Eververse from now on will be applicable to other armor sets. And they're being called universal ornaments. So that one arm piece that you have that has shotgun scavenger, but you hate the look of, in September, you'll be able to transmog that arm to any set that Eververse has ever sold, if you obtained it. I love this change. Nothing negative really to say about this aside from you know Eververse only selling one piece of armor a week for specific classes unless you put down the $20 for the set. Aside from that, there's another potential negative to where they worded it in a specific way where it implies that it may not work on current armor that you have now. So what they said was universal ornaments can be attached to any newly acquired legendary armor. So hopefully this doesn't mean that I have to hunt down armor that has all the perks that it took me to get all of last season. You know, like all the scavenger perks for every weapon and whatnot. Like that would be fucking horrible. But aside from that, this is a cool change. Those are the changes coming in September. So far, some sound really, really good and some sound good in paper. We just have to see how they apply it. My main issue with Eververse and one that I've always had is that it always feels like Bungie is pushing test more and more to see what they can get away with. While I do admit being able to pick and choose what you want from the new season stuff is awesome, what's not awesome is that it's only monetary. I really wish I could get some of these with my almost 10,000 bright dust. But no, instead I'm waiting week after week hoping that Eververse will sell something from this season that I can get, that I can't get in an ingram. Have you guys seen some of the new ghosts and ships and sparrows that are in this season? They all look really fucking cool. With one of the set of ghost, ship, and sparrow being the three that I need to complete this old soldier look that I want to have for my hunter. But no, I can't. And I don't even know how to get some of these because they say I can obtain them from bright engrams, whatever the fuck that means. I think what makes it even worse is that people are cheering Bungie like they're fixing something that Activision did. Eververse wasn't Activision's fault, you guys. This was Bungie's idea, and it's not even a secret. Look it up. Remember how Eververse was supposed to pay for updates like April Update? 
If you weren't there for Destiny 1, the April update was massive. It was filled with new light level, story missions, bounties, strikes, new modes for current activities, chroma weapons and armor, taken armor with a taken emo, year one exotics getting an update, and overall new loot. For free, by the way. What do we have now? Eververse that sells you stuff in a drip feed. An annual pass that only had one good DLC. And even then, Season of Opulence has too many reskins for me to call it really good. And people are praising Bungie now because you can get Brightless and bounties? Mate, Eververse already had bounties. So yeah, dope that it drops from bounties we actually do. But if, on if the only things I can get from her are things that she's either already sold before in previous seasons or sells new items in a drip feed, then how is this a great change for the future that we all wanted? Or so the Destiny community keeps telling me. I think the Destiny community is overhyping this change way too fucking much. Is it a good change? Eh, it's pretty good. Is it going to become the thing that will bring the renaissance to Destiny 2? Fuck no. Get your head out of Bungie's ass and see that these changes, while being good, don't fix the glaring problem that Eververse is holding hostage a lot of the coolest ghosts, ships, and spurls that I've ever seen, unless you pay the ransom of like sometimes being what, $20? The fuck? If Bungie wanted to really fucking wow people, they would be they would make a drastic change to Eververse. Like, you can not only buy anything you want from the the seasonal Ingram, you can get them with Bright Dust. And we have decreased the prices of them. Now that would be a fucking renaissance for Destiny 2. But unless that happens, I don't want to fucking hear about this being the greatest change of all time because it really isn't, alright? Aside from the Universal Armor one, that one's actually really fucking dope. I love the idea. I really hope Transmog comes into this game. This game desperately needs it. What do you guys think about the new changes coming in September? Do you agree? Are you one of those idiots that think that this is this is it, guys? This is the change that we've always wanted. Let me know in the comments below, except the last one. I don't want to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on my social media outlets. Links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys later.